pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Danker. Mayor Steam. Present. Councilmember Large Anderson. Present. Councilmember Hagan. Carolyn. Present. Enright. Present. King. Present. Austin. Present. Jordahl. Present. We have a quorum, Your Honor. Dave Hagan did call and say he had a personal matter that he wasn't going to be able to make it tonight. Okay, item one on the uh, <coughs> agenda is a adoption of the agenda with the addition. We need a motion. So we'll do a second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Item two is a motion for approval of minutes from June 20th, 2016. Need a motion? So moved. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Under awards, number three, we have Steve Keim here for the Pillars of the City Committee report. Steve, it was a heck of an event yesterday. It's hard to believe that was just yesterday, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It, it is. Yeah. Yes, Mayor, Council Members, the Pillars of the City. Um, Quite a project, and thank you for your support and approval of that going forward. And I think it will be a great addition to uh, the flood wall into Austin. Um, a lot of, uh, I think it's going to be a, a focus of uh, the people can see the history of the people and, and the events of Austin uh, into the future. Uh, tonight, I'd just like to, uh, I don't know if you're all familiar with the members of the committee. Um, so we have with us here Mike Ankeny, um, Jeff Anderson, Gretchen Ramlow, and Howard Knapp. In addition to that, uh, we have Belita Schindler, Daphne Wagner, Don Fox, John Haymond, Mike Ruzek. Those are the nine members of the committee. Um, Ann Kaisel was our uh, guiding uh, and guided us and kept us on track with things. Uh, so, uh, with all the nominations we had, it was quite a process of uh, narrowing that down and making the selections, but uh, the group worked together and uh, it was great. So, what you see uh, here tonight is a sample of one of the plaques, one of the five, and uh, I'm assuming you all know who the na all the names of the first five pillars of the city are. Why don't you uh, go ahead and tell us, just in case. Okay, so we have George A. Hormel. J.C. Hormel, Dick Knowlton, John Erickson, and Richard Schindler are the five uh, honorees this year. And then going forward, well, there will be three uh, each year thereafter. So I think uh, looking forward to that. Um, and I just wanted to bring up Jeff just to talk a little bit about the, uh, the plaques and uh, how they came to be and the plan for those. I think we've talked about this a little before when we were ori originally looking at the plaques. The, the process of doing the imagery, the photograph itself, is a digital process that we're doing and um, works pretty well if we've got good photographs, which we had, well. had a little bit of a struggle with this year with some of those older photos, getting good ones, but we, we made it work. So the QR codes all work. If you haven't tested them yet, take your phone and scan them. They work. They go to the city's website and lots yeah, of information. Can you tell us just real quick, Jeff, how that works? the QR codes? Um, just on any smartphone, you can download a QR reader. There's number, a number of them. They're it's free. App, right? It's a free app, yeah. Uh, just go in there in your app the directory and put in their QR reader and you'll see zillions of them. And any of those will work. And all you do is you, you hang it over the little square there until it focuses in. And most of them will just automatically pick it up and go right to the site. It'll take a few seconds to download, but um, uh, John Heyman did most of the, the writing for the histories, and we've got lots of photos and a lot, of, a lot more text than what you see on the plaques that that'll lead to on the site, so it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty neat. You should try it if you haven't. And, um, uh, we're going to prepare tomorrow. We're, uh, the committee's meeting down at the site to select where we are actually going to start and what the arrangement is, the position of the plaques. And as soon as that's determined, then we're going to start to install them. We should have them all, in, all installed by the end of next week, hopefully, if the weather cooperates. Uh, if everything goes as planned, they'll fit perfectly and everything will work. But chances are we're going to have to do a little work down there to 
get the, the rectangles to, to fit just perfectly. So it'll take a little, this will be in our first year, we're not really sure how intense the installation process is gonna be, but uh, we've got it planned out pretty well, so it should go really smoothly. And um, year after year, we'll do the same thing, so. And we have 75 of them, 75 spaces to fill, right? So it's gonna right. take us 20 It's gonna take a few years. years, yeah. It'll be quite a while. Yeah, and so. And the committee is probably, you know, the, uh, the committee's probably going to stay pretty much the same because we want some continuity on there. You know, maybe this year number six came very close, you know, and, and we don't want to start from scratch every year. So I think it's important to have continuity on the committee. Mm -hmm. Also, I've worked with Jeff before on, 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 on Jackie Graves Stone, and that's the first time we did that QR thing. It's it's really kind of yeah. yes, it's interesting. Neat. So it works Jeff nice. It's it's nice because it leads to so much more information. And, it does. And, uh, I, one other thing I guess I'd like to just, just comment on is, as always, uh, when we do projects like this in the city of Austin, everything goes great. Everybody's for it. Um, um, Austin's a great city to work for, and and. Um, uh, this project in particular, I think, is is something that's going to be all of us will be pretty proud of because it's uh, it's been a long time in the development process of, of deciding how to do this and what we were going to do and and um, it's going to honor a lot of really neat things and neat people and and uh, we're always honored to be able to have the opportunity to work with the good people of Austin because there's a lot of you out here. So what's well, a big plus that. for us that we have so, you well. to work with on this at the expert that you know you've done it you, you know what to do and you answer all our questions and it's, it's really it has been fun it has thank you how many applications they received this year there were there were 23 or 24 i think is what we started with this year okay and I think some more have come in and we're taking them all through the year up till december 31st for the next uh, for 2017. So if they weren't selected this year, do they have to resubmit? Nope. No, they stay okay. right. They'll carry forward. Okay, yep. great. It's a neat process. And they should be up pretty, you know, when, when Jeff said, and it'll be, it'll be neat. It'll yeah, give a couple weeks. We couple should have weeks. Them all up. All right. Okay. Any questions on this for the committee? I just want to thank the committee again. It was, and it was a very uh, moving ceremony yesterday at the band shell. So thank you. It was. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Chief Krieger, you got some new meat? <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> I'm not sure. I always it. said in the Marine Corps, you got new meat coming in. I'll oh. describe it. Thank you, Mayor and Council. <laughs> yes, we uh, swore in two new officers this morning, uh, Dustin Hicks on your right and John Mueller. Uh, John is the son of our Lieutenant John Mueller, who's been with our department for 22 years. Uh, Dustin was born and raised in Wisconsin, Menominee. Uh, he's traveled down to Arizona and currently is living in Rochester. Uh, this is his first job in law enforcement. He's very excited to get started and his badge number will be 118. Uh, John grew up obviously in the Austin area, went to high school in Southland, uh, currently was living in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin and working for Stanley Police Department for the past three years and his badge number will be 119. So I would like to introduce Dustin Hicks and John J. Mueller. I have a question, Brian. It sounds like we have a couple potential Green Bay Packer fans here. <laughs> uh, I think so. <laughs> Welcome, congratulations. Thank you. Good to meet you. Congratulations. Thanks. And of course, John's worked with us for 20 years, so you, we pretty well know we're getting. A pretty solid guy. There. <laughs> so, yeah, his father told me that we hired the good John Mueller. We hired the good one. <laughs> well, you know, it is kind of exciting, though, when you get to see a father and son working on the same department. I don't know, were, were Wayne and Dustin on at the same time? Okay, we've had fathers and sons, but I don't know that we've had any working together before, so. His dad yeah. told me he's the handsome one and the taller one. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Okay, so we look forward to uh, we look forward to working with you over the years. Oh my gosh! Thank you.
Okay. Um, where are we at? Number four? Uh -huh. Consent agenda. We need a motion for so that. Moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Number five, under petitions and requests. Number five is a resolution accepting donations to the city. Unless there's any questions, we need a resolution. So moved the resolution. Second. Mr. Dankert. Councilmember Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. King. Aye. Austin. Aye. Jordahl. Aye. Councilmember Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 6 0, Your Honor. Thank you. Number six is a resolution approving a membership in Welcoming America. Mr. Clark. Uh, Mayor, members, uh, Welcoming America is a concept and organization dedicated towards uh, forming a national network to promote best practices and actions to be more inclusive community um, based on the good work that our Human Rights Commission and Apex Austin has done. This seemed like a natural opportunity for us to enhance their efforts, this um, best practices uh, organization helps provide resources to those organizations to um, basically not reinvent the wheel and, and grow their efforts that they put forward. Um, both, the, both of the groups endorsed uh, the city participating and felt the best um, opportunity for joining would be through the city of Austin. And uh, we participate in such events as National Welcoming Week and other activities to promote being an inclusive community. Council action is requested to approve the resolution included as Exhibit 1 and authorize the membership fee to be paid from the contingency fund. And we were the first city of Minnesota, but when Ona heard about it, it snuck in ahead of us. So are there any questions on this? If there's none, we need a resolution. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Dankert? Council Member Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. <laughs> King. Sorry, distracted her. Aye. Austin. Aye. Jordahl. Aye. Councilmember Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 6 0, Your Honor. Thank you. No, yeah, 7 is a resolution approving an airport hangar lease with Kenneth Schamberger. Mr. Lang? Yes, uh, this is another hangar lease. We recently reviewed one of these, but in this case, this is an existing hangar that's changing ownership. So we wanted to take this opportunity to extend a new lease agreement with the new hangar owner. Again, uh, to remind the council, the hangars are privately owned, but the land underneath them is owned by the city of Austin at the Austin Municipal Airport. So we lease out the land to the hangar owner. Uh, in this case, the existing hangar is 42 feet by 48 feet. Uh, in dimension. We lease out an area that has the dimension of the hangar plus an additional 10 feet around the hangar. That is the uh, square footage that is determined for uh, a lease such as this. Uh, in this case, the new leasee or the new hangar owner is Ken Schamberger. Uh, some of the details, again, very similar to the lease that council just approved here a couple months ago. Uh, a 20 year term through 2036 with some varying rates for the, for the land. Uh, the hangar will be maintained and kept in good repair. Uh, uses are limited to aviation activities. Uh, and then the leasee is responsible for any of those uh, access roads that serve only their hangar. Uh, and with that, I would recommend approving this hangar lease with Kenneth E. Schamberger. Council, if there's no questions, we need a resolution. We'll move the resolution. Is there a second? Second. second. Mr. Dankert? Councilmember Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. King. Aye. Austin. Aye. Jordahl. Aye. Councilmember Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 6 0, Your Honor. Thank you. Eight is a resolution approving an agreement with MnDOT for cost sharing on the 11th Drive Northeast Bridge Project. Stephen? Yes. Council uh, previously reviewed some costs for this construction project. Uh, 11th Drive Northeast Bridge is planned for replacement in 2017. And following uh, some information that we received from MnDOT indicating that some of the bridge sidewalk widening costs would range from eighty to $100,000, uh, Mr. Clark set up some continued conversations with MnDOT and we recently re-met with them again to talk about some of the details of funding for that additional sidewalk width. and. During our uh, recent conversations with them, we came upon an agreement with MnDOT to uh, split 50-50 the additional widening costs. Um, so the, the s um, that extra eighty to hundred thousand dollars for widening, we were uh, have a upon council approval, a tentative agreement with MnDOT to split again those those costs. 
uh, with the city's portion of cost of that 50% coming from either our state aid account or a Hormel Foundation grant or some combination of those two. So with that, uh, it would be our recommendation to uh, approve that 50-50 cost share for the sidewalk widening. Council? Anything else? If not, we need a resolution. So move the resolution. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Dankert. Council Member Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. King. Aye. Austin. Aye. Jordal. Aye. Council Member Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 6 0, Your Honor. Thank you. Nine is a resolution approving a Sunday on sale license for Dusty's <coughs> Bar and Lounge, LLC. Any questions? If not, we need a resolution. So moved. Second. Uh, Mr. Danker. Council Member Carolyn. Aye. Enright. Aye. King. Aye. Austin. Aye. Jordahl. Aye. Council Member Large Anderson. Aye. Resolution passes 6 0, Your Honor. Thank you. 10 is two motions granting the Planning and Zoning Department for the power to contract for the removal of junk and or illegally stored vehicles at A, 1903 4th Avenue Southwest O'Reilly property. We need a motion. Come on. There's second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? B is 700 10th Street Northeast, the Hegna property. Need a motion? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And I, everybody's going to be sad to hear, but that's it. All we are to, oh, are there any citizens that wish to approach the council and on any matters? Yes. All right. I hope we're not going to talk about your driveway, because we did that before the meeting. We, uh, <laughs> we won't uh, mention that at this meeting. Right. I'm sure you've heard it enough, but no, I know. it's you something just, about which we're very concerned. You know, anyway. you come to every meeting, and that I, I really is good. It yeah. shows that you have interest. Okay, I'm S Sidney Brown of the Austin, Austin Village Co-op, uh, 2301 10th Street Northwest, Austin, Minnesota, 55912. Uh, I attended my, my last meeting as a board member last Thursday. Now you're the president. But you're, you, you're, you're thinking you might miss me that I won't show up at these meetings, but you're wrong. Uh, I, I have been told that I'm liaison between you and them. <laughs> so and I'll, I'll do that until they tell me to move on. Uh, there were two uh, openings on our board, and one of them, uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, new members became, uh, became a, uh, our uh, our board chairman, and he's here tonight. I, I wanted you. Uh, I wanted to introduce you to him so you know who he is. It's Daryl Larson, and uh, he's going to be our chair chairman for the next three years. So, be gentle with him. <laughs> he has a long road to go. I don't know if you want to come up, uh, Daryl. Do you want to talk about some of your background? I think he has an impressive background. You might know him from TV and radio. Uh, over over the last several years, you don't want to talk about that. In 1964. 1964. Well, anyway, so he is our chairman. We're glad to have him. Thank you very much. Well, people, you know, if you want to get something and you, and you want to have your voice heard, what you do is you come to the meetings and you yes. do that. And I yes. think you're. You're, sometimes you can be a little bit of a pain, but you know what? That's actually a good yeah. thing. I mean, my wife really, says that too. Yeah, my, 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 <laughs> that's a good thing. That's how people get hurt by Not the council. Not a good thing. Yeah, that's how we work, and, and definitely you you have your position out okay, there. Okay, now you told me before the meeting started that uh, maybe we didn't have to come to the meeting so much. Well, I, I, on your one issue, on yeah. the issue of your driveway. Yeah, and you, and you told me you enjoyed the meeting. That's that's different. what we're concerned about mostly, I right. think. And 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 Stephen, we will notify him if we if we have a discussion on that driveway. Yeah, I think your concern is that we're going to try and slip something through when when you're yeah. not here. Yeah, and that's not going to happen. I mean, okay. that wouldn't be fair, and we really do try and be yeah. fair. Yeah. Well, I, I I want you to understand, I don't trust anyone. Oh, I understand that. Neither do I. <laughs> There's a good reason for that, isn't there? Thank it? you. Uh, that's not generally true, but thanks anyway. Thanks okay. for your concern. Uh, thank Actually, you. Sid, if we get that grant, um, I'm sure everyone will hear about it. Yep. Boy, yeah. Boy, we'll be we'll checking into done. that constantly in October, so. Yep. 
We'll let you know. But if you yeah. want to come to the meetings, you're more than welcome to come. So yeah. you, sometimes you're one of Well, it's sometimes very educational, and we it's appreciate you not getting too nervous that we're here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you for coming. Yeah, you bet. Thank Anybody you. else want to address the council? All right, then we come to um, reports and recommendations. Judy, I'll start with you. Really nothing except that um, I hope people got out and enjoyed the wonderful weekend and the parade and all the activities put on by the Chamber of Commerce. Okay, Steve? It appears that the Spam Museum is making some impact downtown. I think Dusty's being open on Sunday is the fifth business on Main Street to now be open on Sundays because of the Spam Museum. That's great. So it's cool. a, quite an impact they're making. I was there on a Sunday a couple weeks ago and I couldn't get <coughs> the line out the door. So good for them and good for downtown. Good. I have nothing, Your Honor. Get it? Um, i just like to echo what Judy just said about uh, thanking the Chamber and all the committees and all the volunteers and staff that helped make it happen, um, and including our uh, Park and Rec crew for making sure that uh, Austin looked great to welcome all those people. So thank you, Kim, and your crew, and, and again, thanks to the chamber and that group. Okay, Mike? Yeah, I'll just ditto those thanks. It was a great event. Um, <coughs> my son had a blast. And <laughs> every year we, we love staying here. We get sometimes families that usually come down here for the fourth, but I said, no, we got to stay in Austin. It's the best. Yeah. So. Thank you, Jeremy. Yeah, I just wanted to thank the chamber and the city staff that participated. It was a good activity. We had family from Texas and, and New York that actually were here for the weekend, and they they enjoyed themselves. So. Okay, great. Do we have any reports? No, sir. Ann Do has, I don't have anything. Ann has one. Ann. Yes, I do. Um, for the Pillars of the City project, um, the the collaboration that the library has with the Hormel Home and the Mauer County Historical Society, we do a history happy hour on the second Monday of the month. And coming up this coming Monday on July 11th, the program is on the Pillars of the City. You can get more of the information about the people that were selected this year and about how the whole process works. So if you don't happen to be handy with a QR code reader, why you should head on down to the Hormel Home. And that program this month uh, is free. It's an opportunity to test out the program and see if you want to join one of our four organizations. Time? Is at 5.30 for happy hour which is actually only 30 minutes, you know, and you can't be that happy. And then, um, and six o'clock is the presentation. Okay. Anything else? Okay, I just want to echo the, the, you know, the thanks from everybody else, the city workers, the police, the fire people, all the volunteers, the chamber, they put on a heck of a show, a uh, heck of a uh, thing every year is really great. Also, we got Janet, uh, we had a Green Steps Award from the oh. league. I didn't bring it down before. I just remembered now. And <laughs> Janet works real hard in her committee on the Green Steps. So we'll keep that <laughs> up in City Hall and thank her for her work on that. Other than that, I think we're finished. We need a motion to adjourn. So, so second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Well, take a short break and meet in us.